Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, April 20th, 420. We are looking at Pioneer League results today. We've got just shy of 30 decks. I think there's 27 or 28 decks today. Uh, let's see what happens with Ikoria cards. Uh, so let's just dig right in. First off, Magic Guru 11 brings us Lotus Breach. And I am not seeing any Ikoria cards in this deck. Unless Wilt is, I don't think so. Yes, it is. Destroy an artifact or enchantment cycle too. So a little bit of sideboard tech there. All right. Holhis gets a 5 0 with Feather. And yeah, Fight is one. I figured this was going to show up in this deck. It's just tailor made for it. Uh, target human. Gets plus one, plus one, indestructible. Target non-human gets plus one, plus one, and indestructible. And 10th D District Legionnaire, Phalanx Leader, and Favored Hoplite are all humans. Feather and the Trailblazer are not. So, yeah, it's perfect for this deck. Um, that looks to be it. Pow CR5 with Demir Inverter. And I'm not seeing anything. No. Nope. No cards from Ikoria in there. Oxyken gets a 5 0 with mono red. And I don't see anything. Nope. No Ikoria cards in this. Straightforward mono red. A little bit bigger version goes up to Glorybringer. Uh, so to, and a couple Ash Zealot, uh, good against escape cards. Avocado Toast is back with another mono red deck. This one definitely smaller and faster than the last one. And again, I don't see any Ikoria cards in it. All right, Jabberwocky, the well-known deck builder. He's been around for a long time. Uh, with Saltide Traverse, Saltide Delirium. And do we have any Heartless Act made the list? Just a one of. I think that's about it. Little surprised that the Triome didn't make it. There is a Sultai Triome. So don't be surprised if it starts showing up in the mana base here. It is a, it is a tap land, but... It also cycles in case it's a late game and you don't need it anymore. Thumor with Mono White. Irrigated. Oh, nope. This is White Blue, isn't it? Or is it? Yeah, it's a fairy. Yep. So this is the White Blue Devotion deck. Uh, white Splashing Blue for Teferi and Reflector Mage in this case. And then a little bit of sideboard stuff. We have a Yorion as. A companion. That's our first companion. So that's one. Uh, so it's a blink style. Uh, you can blink your reflector mages, your Thraben inspectors, your Knight of the White Orchid maybe. Uh, Charming Prince is a nice little blink. So there's a little bit. You can reset your uh, enchantment removal if you want to. So uh, yeah, there's our first companion deck. An 80 card Yorion mono, uh, White Splashing Blue Devotion deck. Romani with Insoul Artifact. This is the blue-red version. And no companion. I am not seeing any new additions. Okay. Phelan. 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 With uh, mono red. Uh, no, sorry, this is Boros. And this has Lurus as its companion. So this is a, yeah, Boros aggro. I guess it's Splashing White. You're Splashing White for Boros Charm and Lurus. Sacred Foundry, Inspiring Vantage, Battlefield Forge. Other than that, that looks to be the only new card. So that's two companions. 
Capon's MTG with a mono white devotion deck. There's no Heliod in this, so here's another Loris. Yep, can't run Heliod if you've got Loris as your companion because it requires CMC 2 or less. And Heliod is a 3. So this is just mono white aggro. Uh, it does top out at Walking Ballista here. Uh, and do we even have... We can keep our companion even in... Yeah, because Quarantine Fields is just CMC 2. So, yeah, I can keep it through sideboarding. So that's three companions now. Two Lurus and a Lorian. Alex Fierro with... A Storm Herald deck with Colossification. All right, this is our new aura from Ikoria, which gives the creature 2020 and it taps when it enters. Burning Anger. How do you untap a creature? Oh, if you. Does it breaking enter? Does. Breaking Entering gives them haste if it comes from the graveyard. I'd have to look at this a little bit. I mean, a lot of the um, active treason effects can be targeted at your own creature. It untaps them and gives them haste. And that would get around the Colossification Storm Herald problem. But, yeah. I'll have to mess with this and see how this one works. But that that's a... Uh, a neat a neat ad here. Be interesting to see if this sticks or if it was a first weekend thing. Vezram with Hardened Scales, and this is also a Lurus deck, our fourth companion now. Three Lurus and a uh, Yorion. And I don't... Uh, we got three Ozolith. That is not a surprise at all. That's perfect for this deck. Basically banks your counters if your things get killed. Paco El, Fa El Flaco with Featherless Feather, I guess. Uh, this is also... So he went with Loris. Okay, now we're to five companions, four of them being Loris. Loris is going to speed up formats, it looks like. Because if you're wanting all your permanents to be CMC 2 or less, that's just going to make everything hyper aggro. Um... Yeah, this is basically featherless feather. So it's just trying to. It's more a Boros, more a Boros, heroic deck. Um, with Loris at your top end, and that looks to be the only uh, Ikoria card in here. Wartico with Galia Gruel Agro, and no companion here. Yep, pretty straightforward. Uh, Galia, Gruel, I don't see any new cards. P.S. Barrow with an S. Is this Esper Doom Foretold? Or are we black white? We're black white. This is that black white enchantment control deck that we've seen a couple of times. Anything new? Uh, doesn't look like it. And no companion. So that's a pre Ikoria deck. So that black white enchantment control. Pig Norton with a Boros deck, again with Lurus. We're now at six companions, five of them Lurus. And this is similar to what we saw previous. This is actually Just Guy. I'm sorry. Um, Slip Through Space is an interesting ad here. Looks like the only... Lurus is the only new card. Yep. Three better with Mono Black. And no Companion. And no new cards. So this is our typical Mono Black that we've been seeing. Vase, five twos with Bant Spirits. And two permeate, pretty, yeah, excuse me, permeating mass in the sideboard, but 
nothing else is nothing is new here from Ikoria. Now, some of these may have posted their 5.0s before the Ikoria cards were available. Uh, so this is probably a mix. The next uh, Pioneer League and the, probably the Modern Leagues tomorrow will be fully under the Ikoria time frame. So it'll be really interesting to see how those go. But already we're seeing stuff. Here is Snapcaster Bolt with a Gruel aggro deck that uses Obosh as its... Uh, companion, and Obosh is great for things that do direct damage. Sources you control with an odd CMC deal damage to a permanent or player, it doubles that damage to that permanent or player instead. So you're going to be hitting really, really hard with your creatures. Crater Claws here to finish the deal. Uh, any other new cards? It doesn't look like it. Nope, just Obosh. So that's seven companions now. One Obosh, one Yorion, and five Lurus. Terp with Mono Green Walkers. And I see nothing new here. Nope, this is a pretty standard Mono Green Walkers build. JB Spec 3 with something big. What do we got going here? Oh, this is Fires. Just Guy Fires. Fay of Wishes, so we've got a Wish sideboard. I don't see any Companion, and I'm not seeing any new cards. This will get updated for Ikoria, I guarantee it. There's stuff in, in, in this list. Stuff that works well in this list from Ikoria that you'll start seeing. Mountain Master 13 with a black-white aggro deck. And we have a bunch of things going on here. Uh, we top out at Elspeth and Venerated Loxodon, but we are definitely a white uh, green... Oh, this is this humans. This is black-white humans. Oh, that's cool. Dire Tactics, another new card. General Kudro. This is definitely using the most of most new cards that we've seen so far. Two Heartless Act on the side. Uh, yeah, this is something I'm going to have to explore. I like the idea of this. So, nice one. Mountain Master 13, Black White Humans. El Guacate Magic. Something like that. Uh, Orzov Auras. Lurus. Yeah. This one, the... Uh, one of the challenges over the weekend as well, this deck. Uh, yeah. The, Lurus makes this deck a lot better, I think. So now we're at eight companions, six of them being Lurus. Bob the Builder 24 with blue-white control. And I don't see any new cards. Nope, blue-white control. Pat Murph with is this Esper Control. Search for Oscanta. Wow, that used to be everywhere. Don't see it much anymore. Yep. Esper Control. I don't really see any any new cards in here. Batutina with Mono White Walkers. 32 lands. So this must be a yep, here's a Yorion. Uh, is this splashing blue or is this just white? This is just white. So it's basically just giving this deck more of what it had. Right? You're, you're able to pull in more of the cards that you might not have been able to fit in your main deck before. Especially removal. Um, yeah. It's just more of the same. But yeah, Mono White Walkers. Or, sorry, Mono White Devotion with Yorion. So we're up to... Is it now nine? Yeah, it's nine. Six Lurus, two Yorion, and an Obosh. Chiquito with Hardened Scales. And this one does not have Yorion. There's nothing new here. So this might have been... Pre three Witch Stalker in the side. Cool. Have not seen that card in a while. Good. It should be good against... Um, Demir Control, or Demir Inverter. 
They cast a lot of blue and black spells. Little guy, 1991. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we have a guy rooted deck. This is a guy rooted deck with three main and one is your companion, two Dragon Lord Kologon, and about every possible clone you could run. Eight mana dorks, so you can try to ramp into Garuda. But you're basically trying to make as many copies of Garuda as possible. This could be a mill deck, but the Kologon gives everything haste. So, yeah, this this deck could explode on you and just suddenly hit you for like 40. Especially if they hit a couple of spark doubles. Because it's non-legendary, so you keep the new Garuda and it's bigger. And then if that one hits and you get the Kologon, then... So, Kologon's a 6-5... The original Garuda was a 6-6, six, six, and the Spark Double was a 7-7. Seven, seven. So that's, what, 19 right there? Just out of nowhere from an empty, empty board. So that's... Ugh. That's absurd. This is all in on it, and it probably won't be able to survive as people adjust. But, yeah. Okay, so that is 11... 10. 10 Companions. And our last list of the day is a Niv-Mizzet deck. And this one does not be looking to be running any new cards. Nope. So we saw about a third of the decks with Companions. And if you were clued into the weekend's tournament results and what was going on on Arena and Magic Online with particularly Garuda and Lurus... This should not come as a surprise. It would not surprise me if more than half of the decks in the next Pioneer League dump are companion decks. Uh, it seems to be incredibly strong in, comp in competitive formats. Having it, It's the same thing that you see in Commander, right? Where you have that extra card that's effectively in your hand, but it's not. So it can't be thought seized. You sculpt your game plan around it and it's just an advantage to have that extra card um, we'll see where this goes uh, it's early but Sam Black's warning that this might have been a design mistake we'll see we'll see that's it for now uh, thanks for hanging out interesting to see the things we got going and that's 22 clones I think it was of Garuda, that's kind of crazy. Uh, if you enjoy what I'm doing here, do please like and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming up. And we will be back tomorrow with Modern. Take care. Stay safe out there. Bye-bye.